All right, guys, look at that tells you right there, guys. Make sure you head out with a rain jacket, umbrella, whatever you need. We are nice and warm inside, and Annalise and I, we are going to start doing some Halloween decorations. Ali Bumquist with the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, and you are here. You're going to teach us how to do some origami jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, so each one of these takes about 15 minutes, so we won't have time today to make the origami part, uh -huh. but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the simple circuitry okay. that goes inside of them. Okay, so yeah, let's start off, Allie. What do we need to do? Okay, so you're going to take this little LED, mm -hmm. and this long leg here is the positive, and this is the positive side of the battery, so you want to put the positive here, the negative wow. there. Look at that, Annalise. So here, you go ahead and try. You want to try it? You want to try it? <laughs> She's so shy. Here, Daddy will try right. it for you. Okay, so now this is, does it have to be this specific kind of battery? Um, it doesn't. There's different voltages of batteries right. that you can use. But these coin cells work the best because they mm -hmm. fit right inside. Look! So we're just going to push these together to complete the circuit here. Okay. And there we have this nice little LED going. Look at that. It changes and color and everything. We can just pop these right inside of the origami jack lantern. Wow! That is so cool. So, uh, you know, as you said, this is a 15 minute process to make the whole thing, but walk us through some of the materials that you're using to make this, because this is fantastic. So is this really all we're using over here? Um, there's a couple more things. So, <clears throat> for these ones, yeah, it's just the paper. Uh, mm -hmm. This part inside is the actual, like, reverse side of the paper. Okay. And looking inside here, all we have is the LED, the battery, and some pieces of tape. And that's it. And that's it. Wow, that is incredible. These so ones require a little bit of glue okay. to put the hat together, but that's it. But that's pretty much it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, to learn how to do this, we come down to the Natural History Museum this weekend. Is that right? Yeah. So this weekend on Saturday the 24th, we're going to have this workshop from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And it's $15 for a parent and a child. And mm -hmm. we do encourage everybody to go online and pre-register at our website. Okay. Which is um, nmnaturalhistory.org. Okay. Now, Annalise and I are members of it. The, the family is members of the Natural History mm -hmm. Museum. So you have a bit of a discount, I understand, for, for members. Yeah, 10% discount for 10 members. 10% discount. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So uh, in, in terms of how many people you'll be able to take in on this, it, once you reach a capacity of people that are registered, that's it, right? Yeah. So okay. we, Yeah, that's why we encourage everybody to register online. Okay, fantastic. So now I understand also, Allie, you were telling me that, and I don't know if you're going to be teaching this in there, you said that you have an origami craft of a cat that takes like an hour and a half to do. Actually, no, it's, um, it's a pumpkin. Oh, it um, is a pumpkin. My okay. cat got it. <laughs> oh, your but, cat got yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> um, but it takes about an hour and a half, and it's a really complex one full of folds, and so mm -hmm. that one I'm saving for teens and adults because it's... Okay. Uh, fairly complex, and yeah, it takes about an hour and a half to complete. Wow, okay, yep. but this one will be able to hammer out about 15 minutes anyway, mm -hmm. guys. To register, again, Natural History Museum. Now, you've, before we get out, Ali, you guys have a bunch of other things going on as well. We so, do. Right? Um, so I encourage everybody to go to the museum and pick up a Voices in Science, pam Science pamphlet. Mm -hmm. We have all of the upcoming workshops, exhibits, classes for children, adults, families, everybody, everything in here. Um, <laughs> And right now we have the animatronic dinosaurs going on mm -hmm. upstairs, and cool. we are also getting ready to open a new exhibit on Friday okay. called Naturescapes. Fantastic, so. guys. For a full recap on this and information on New Mexico Natural History Museum and Science, head over to casa.com. We'll be right back. Look at these. Do you think we could build those, Annalise? We could do that, you and me.